Welcome to the 100th annual Santa Fe Swaya Indian Market, Southwestern Indian Arts Association Indian Market. 100 years, 1922 was the first. This is 2022, my first time at Indian Market and what a remarkable experience it has been. Behind me is the plaza in Santa Fe. That's sort of the uh, heartbeat of Indian Market, the heartbeat of Santa Fe and in every direction, from here are lined up hundreds of artist booths. Thousands, in fact, of artists are in the Swaya Indian Market every single year, and you've got painting, you've got pottery, you've got sculpture, uh, beadwork, um, quill work, textiles, you name it, and uh, you will find it here at Santa Fe Indian Market, the absolute best practitioners across Indian country. and. Even more than the artwork, it's the people. And I've been able to meet so many folks that I've written about at Sea Great Art and Forbes and Western Art Collector and Native American Art Magazine over the years, just uh, thinking uh, Tony Abeda at Owings Gallery, the, the king of Santa Fe, really. Uh, Nakona Burgess, uh, the mayor of Santa Fe. Uh, Del Kerfman, who, an up and coming pro artist who is uh, doing big things. He's uh, one to watch. He's going to be in institutional collections very soon. Uh, Eric Tipiconic from California. Bobby C. Martin from uh, Oklahoma. I met Virgil Ortiz uh, at King's Gallery. Virgil Ortiz is uh, the father of indigenous futurism. He's uh, got work at the Art of Indigenous Fashion show at IAIA Mokna. He's got, uh, he's the, uh, in the, uh, living treasure artist for this year in New Mexico. So he's got a big show at Mayak uh, and, a, and a monograph out, a, a book uh, all about his career. Let's see, Kevin Redstar, met him uh, a block from here uh, yesterday, the legendary first generation crow painter uh, going through my mental Rolodex. Um, Preston Singletary was in town, didn't get a chance to meet the great glass artist, uh, but he was doing a reception as well. Jason Parrish, uh, Navajo, uh, Karma Henry, Kathleen Wall, an amazing, amazing potter, was able to meet her yesterday. So it's these personal connections that uh, over the years you make with the artists, uh, you know, not just for me as a reporter getting to talk and, and, and write about these uh, folks, but the collectors who come here year after year after year and find their favorite artists. Uh, so many artists have been here 10, 20, 40, 50 years that this is as much family reunion, as much cultural uh, event as it is simply an, an art festival and a market, an opportunity to, to buy work and collect work. It's, it's a lot more than that, all against this wonderful backdrop of Santa Fe. Yesterday it was uh, rainy and soggy all day, but uh, this is Sunday, the final day of Indian Market 2022. The sun is out, the crowds are out, and it could not be a better day for indigenous art and advocates of indigenous art here at Swaya Indian Market, the 100th anniversary.